Well, for Juventus, no Ronaldo, no problem. We didn't expect there to be, though, against Brescia at the wrong well, end of the Well, bearing table. in mind they haven't got a Champions League game till the following uh, week, you kind of thought, well, he's on the... He's knocking on Sarri's door, going, I can't, I don't... I don't need a rest. He's going for this record, which he can still go for, 11 games that he's played in a row in Serie A, but without him, Dybala and Higuain and Cuadrado further forward. I think common sense prevails here for a man in his mid-30s with so many big games coming up and a serious title challenge yep. from two teams at the moment, Lazio and Inter. It's, it's common sense. Now, what I would say, no problem without Ronaldo is... Atalanta apart, the rest of them are all down near the bottom of the league. So, you pick and choose your games, I suppose, is, is what every manager does. And, uh, yeah, G good, good rest for him. Good win. Not a great win, but a routine win. What? There's, there's something we're just waiting with Juventus. Is there something what? missing? And if so, what is it? Flair. Flair and Guile. And that, I was listening to your commentary. And during that second half at 1-0, although Brescia weren't a big threat, they were still a threat to some extent. And for all that UV possession, they just was the guile in the final third. No until, end product. Until Matuidi with a beautiful little back heel. Yeah, but that was, that was like 70-odd minutes. Yeah, there's something missing. Uh, I, I, I still think he doesn't know what his best 11 is. He's scratching around the surface looking. I heard you boys talking about the middle of the park. That's important. What's he going to do against Leon? Uh, you know, you've got Rabiot and Ramsey who can get forward. Do they play? You've got Matuidi who comes off the bench. Hopefully Pjanic's injury is not too serious. Well, that was a blow. Comes on, goes off, holding the muscle. Uh, it looks like a muscular injury. On the upside, Chiellini comes back to a great ovation. So back available again, if not match fit. Uh, so some pluses and some negatives. But I think we saw a very similar performance from Juve, Matt, that We've pretty much seen most of the season. Yeah, and at times it, it, it's enough. They've won a number of games by yeah. one goal. This was by two goals. But you just sensed, you mentioned the commentary, that there was a frustration among the fans in the second half that, come on, it's pressure. They're down to 10 men as well. And this talk of, and I don't know how silly it is, but this talk of Sarri might not be there to the end of the season just just won't go away at this moment in time. And, and you know, if he, if he goes out of the Champions League to Leon, he's gone. Mm. He's gone because they'll say, they'll turn around and say, oh no, I tell you what, can we trust him for the remainder of the season now because Inter and Lazio are putting us under pressure. And Allegri's still on the payroll, even though he's been sacked. He's still on the payroll, whether he wants to come back or not. He's been linked with other jobs, but it's, there's something, and people will say, it's time, it's time. We know big institutions like Juventus generally don't give the managers time. So Sarri needs to get that ball rolling very, very quickly. If it is Flair or whatever it is they're missing, they're still banging this title race. They're still the favourites. No, they are. Because they've been there, they've done it, and they've worn that T-shirt. They are. It might not be pretty, but you ask any Juventini what's going to happen if they win it and they're not at their best, they don't care. Well, you say that, but... This I, season, I, this season, well, what they're in. Because it, I go back to Abramovich at Chelsea a few months ago when he says, we're winning titles, but I want flair and excitement. And I think that's one of the reasons that Juventus brought Sarri in. They didn't go for the, pragma the pragmatism of a Conte, the pragmatism of an Allegri. They went for the flair of a Napoli-style football mm. to go with the success. And so far, they haven't had that. But they might still get the success, but they certainly haven't had that flair. Not yet. They want that title. They want nine in a row. But they could do with a few more goals against teams like Brescia, these supporters. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.